What's up guys? So, I got a random video for you. Saw something funny I wanted to share with you. But I came outside here uh, to film and to just hang out because it's beautiful out. I wanted to check out these uh, raspberries. So I bought these raspberry uh, raspberry plant. Uh, I forget what they're called. The shoots? I don't know. The canes, I think? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I'm new to growing raspberries, so it's all new to me. But yeah, so I got these canes last year, uh, not knowing that it was going to only flower the second year. So last year, they basically, it was, it was almost nothing, it was super small, but these large canes grew. And then this year, um, obviously it's growing some foliage and hopefully going to have some raspberries for me to eat. The problem is I have to transport this. <laughs> so we're going to be moving and I'm not sure exactly how to do that. I mean, the lattice that's in the background, it goes all the way up and I weaved it all in and out of there because... I did it before I thought I was going to move. Anyway, um, I'm out here just looking at it, getting a little, uh, little view of it. I do have some, some flowers coming. So you can see right there, a little bushel of tiny little balls, which will open up and be white flowers. And then the flowers will die off and we're going to grow some, some raspberries. So very excited about it. Anyway, uh, the video is not about raspberries. I don't even know why I mentioned all that. The video is about a festival, EDC. I'm sure you saw it, right? That's obviously near the title for the video. So the video is about the EDC um, 2024 festival. So I'm flipping through Instagram. Here's what I see. Alcohol prices at EDC 2024. So I flip over and there's a menu for it. And while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, holy smokes, EDC, like, is that like a SHOT Show or, you know, Blade Show, but just EDC stuff? How amazing is that, right? Instead of just focusing on knives or guns in that case, uh, you know, it's everything. It's, you know, pocket uh, tools and keychain tools and flashlights and handkerchief. Like, that would be an awesome convention. And so I look it up because I'm like, hmm, I'd love to go to this and film and all that kind of stuff. This is totally like in my head, right? Over the course of probably three minutes while I'm looking at these prices, I'm like, yeah, you know, the booze is ridiculously expensive, but I don't need to get drunk there. I just want to go and enjoy the show. So a couple minutes later, I, I actually Google it to try to get dates and find out that it's a music festival. So yeah, if you're like me and just didn't know, this has been around since 1997. EDC literally stands for Electric Daisy Carnival. I didn't know that. So it looks like it is uh, dance, electronic, and what was that? Russian? Russian dance? Ooh, okay. So, so yeah, super disappointed there's not actually an EDC convention. Uh, but the question now is why not? Why isn't there an EDC convention? Seems kind of strange. There should be, for sure, right? I mean, you can have all kinds of vendors there. It could be massive. Because think about it, EDC tools, I mean, that's endless. Absolutely endless. Any kind of tool or fun thing you can keep in your pocket would be considered EDC. And you can have, you know, God, probably 500 people that just sell watches. You know, 500 people that just sell wallets. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I think people are missing out by not having that. But anyway, since we are talking about it, let's look at these booze prices here. Because these are pretty ridiculous. Alright, so I'm assuming you can't bring in your own alcohol. So, vodka, and, and this, I'm guessing, is for a bottle. $950 for Kettle One. $1,700 for a Belvedere Magnum. All right, see tequila's there, rum, cognac, scotch, whiskey, Jack Daniels, $875 for a bottle. Even the water, smart water, $90 for a six pack. Look at the beer, <laughs> Bud Light, $140 for a six pack. Let me tell you something, if you drink Bud Light, you're not going to spend $140 for a six pack. I don't care how much you got in your wallet. Non-alcoholic White Claw, $90 for a six pack. Hmm. Then you got some bougie stuff here, some uh, champagne, you know, $1,500. I get it, Don Berrion, right, and some event, cool, whatever. I don't understand the bottom though, the, the most expensive thing on here, Notorious EDC, which I think is funny, 900, I'm sorry, $94,000. $94,000, you can buy a house for $94,000, albeit a very tiny house that's very old, but you can still do it. You get six liters of Dom Perignon Brut. 
I don't know if I'm saying that right. And six liters of Dom Perignon Rosé. Who's drinking 12 liters of alcohol? I have no idea. You, you must have a party for 50 people. I don't know. So yeah, I mean, the, the alcohol prices are absolutely ridiculous. But what's even more preposterous is the fact that the EDC convention that I thought I was reading about does not exist. Thumbs down. I have to say, thumbs down for that. So... If you're someone with a bunch of money or brings events together or just, you know, you have the power to make it happen, work on that. We need one. We need an EDC convention. And if something like that does exist, let me know about it. And also, why do I not know about this? It's been around since 1997. I mean, I don't go to music festivals. Maybe I've heard of it before and just forgot. But I definitely didn't hear of it called EDC because that certainly got my attention. I thought that was kind of stupid and funny. I want to share with you guys, so... Let me know your thoughts down below. I don't know who's actually going to be spending any kind of... I mean, all right, fine. You're at a convention. You want a six-pack of beer. You pay $90. It's ridiculous, but $90 is very doable, right? You're going to a festival. You're having fun. Maybe a couple hundred bucks. It's still ridiculous, but, you know, people can swing that. But thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, and have a couple bottles of champagne at your your music festival. I, mean, I don't know. I wouldn't want... By the way, I wouldn't want to get drunk. Like, if I'm at a music festival, and again, I don't go, so maybe I don't understand how, how fun I could be drunk, but that sounds like a bad time. I'd want to be pretty, so maybe get like a buzz, but I want to be pretty sober, you know, uh, to enjoy the music. After all, that's why you're there. You can get drunk anywhere for free. But anyway, that's it. Just, you know, sharing some thoughts. I have another thought. I'm going to share another video while I'm sitting on here, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I bid you adieu. See you guys tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.